two powerful psalms. We make your enemies to run far away from you. These psalms will expose every hidden secret about your life. These powerful two psalms that I'm about to share with you will make you to stay away from evil and the wickedness of the enemies. This psalm also will help you to make anybody that is around you with a bad intention to be far away from you. So don't be afraid or don't be surprised when you start losing friends. That's your close friend. That's your loved one. That's your everything. When you start losing them, when you see them going far away from you, when you are seeing them, you know, doesn't want to associate with you when you start your recipe. Don't worry. Just go and thank God because you are finally liberated yourself. Let me tell you, the books of Psalms are very, very powerful. It's a spiritual weapon that you can use either to fight, either for blessing and all that. So if you understand the spiritual benefit of Psalms and how to use Psalms in so many ways in a particular situation, you will never joke with Psalms. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you these two amazing Psalms that you should pray with every day of your life. At least either in the morning or at night, most especially at night when you want to sleep and in the morning when you want to go out and see things happening. You are going to see your enemies running far away from you. You are going to see them confessing to you. You are going to see them, you know, losing, like being, like you running and never come back to you again. Yes, you heard me. But before I share this song with you, I want to welcome you officially to my channel or my page. In case you are seeing me for the first time, thank you for seeing my face. So, here I share more tips on how to pray when you're using the natural things for instant manifestation by the, God, by the special grace of God. Okay? So, if you love this or you are a lover of natural things, you want to learn how to use natural things for different uses, please subscribe or follow me. Turn on the bell notification so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. And also don't forget to go down to my videos. There's a whole lot of videos that can as well help you in your daily life. If you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome. You know I always love you. And my God, the God Almighty, the creator of the whole universe, we bless you and grant every of your good desires. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright guys, so before I dive into this video, I want to officially beg you this. Please disregard any number you see in the comment section. Yes, there's a whole lot of scammers. When I say a whole lot, there are many. So once you commented, they come under your comment section, give you fake prophecy, tell you to donate to their orphanage and all that. They are all scammers. That is a way to escort money from you. So please don't fall victim of this. Please. So any number you see in the comment section, please don't call. If I've mistakenly done this, please remove yourself and don't be scammed. If I made any video that requires my number, I will write, put it here in the screen so you will benefit. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now, I'm talking about these two psalms that you do. Either physical, if either physical manifest, sorry, either physical or spiritual projection. Or are you the type that somebody wants to take away what belongs to you or are you the type that you are dragging your property with somebody and the person is threatening you because you felt you don't have anybody to speak for you you don't have connections and all that yes god is your connection god is your fighter god is your deliverer so don't worry about whoever the person has is the only god that has the final say over that battle okay now, this is what you need to do. Or are you the type that you keep having bad dreams? Everyday bad dreams. Everyday bad dreams. It's not that people don't have bad dreams. Every one of us have bad dreams. But when it becomes continually, when it becomes consistently, my dear, it's not good. That means there is fire on the mountain. So you need to start to start fighting to liberate yourself before the manifestation of that dreams. Now, these two Psalms will help you. Now, I am talking about this because if you have been following me i've shared a lot of psalms 
the ones for blessing, the one for favor, the one for fruitfulness, the one for everything. They are all here in this channel or page. Just take your time, go through my videos, you will see a whole lot. So today's own is just for God to fight, for God's intervention, for God to fight your battle. Now I'm talking about Psalm 35, Psalm 91. That's the Psalm I'm talking about. I know you might know, I know you know about this psalm, but you never know that you can use this psalm to do signs and wonder. You never know that you can use this psalm to scatter the enemies of your life. You never know that you can use psalm, these two psalms, to fight that battle that you are afraid secretly with your news, with your ways, and with your belief. Setting your intention very well, you see it manifesting physical. As you know that spiritual, you see control the physical. Sometimes you might not know your enemy. It might be a spiritual projection. It might be a spiritual manipulation. You don't know. You only notice it when it starts happening. You only notice it when you start feeling it. But all these things has already been projected. It has already been concluded in a spiritual world. So what you are just seeing is just the manifestation. What you are just seeing is just the fulfillment. So that is how you can as well, on your secret place, on your secret way, in your room, in your parlor, in your bed, to settle this matter using these two amazing sounds. Like I said, it goes for either spiritual battle or physical battle. So read any of these psalms three, three times every night before you sleep. After reading this psalm, with serious note, don't be distracted, be focused. When you want to read it, don't be distracted, be focused. Around 12, 1, 2 or 3, anytime. If you cannot wake up by that psalm, read it before you sleep at night, it's fine. After reading it, each of the verse, three, three times, begin to talk to God. Oh God, wherever they are ganging up against me, in physical rain, in a spiritual rain, scattered and destroyed them. If you have not read this psalm before, you are missing a lot. And if you've not read it before, please, when you read it, you will understand. Read it with understanding. You will know that it's a very great psalm that you can use to destroy the enemies of your soul. Lord, wherever they are ganging up against me, Pray. If it's a spiritual manipulation, spiritual manipulation I mean is that maybe you are going through a lot of things and you know this thing is not ordinary, you know that people are after you but you don't know the person. You know people are manipulating you, people are doing one kind thing to you and you don't know the person, you don't know who the person is. This is a spiritual manipulation. So you just make a prayer. Don't mention anybody's name. Begin to talk to God. After reading this, I'm three, three times, Lord, wherever they are in the east, west, south and north, any one of woman, born of a woman, that is the result of this, this sickness, this problem, this financial issue, this whatever that it is, Lord, scatter them and destroy them, expose them, and you know what you pray? Just read the psalm three, three times and say this prayer, and you see what is going to happen. If this battle is a physical battle, it's a physical battle that you know that. This person is physical. Maybe the person is dragging what belongs to you. It can be your marriage, it can be your property, it can be your business. And, all. and you know that this person, please be sure. If you are not sure, don't mention anybody's name. God knows your enemy. Or if you are sure, that's why I said it's a physical battle. It's physical, like mention the person's name. Hand the person over to God. Tell the God the battle is for him and it's not for you. That you, you cannot fight this battle yourself. That this battle you cannot do anything. You have, that you have tried your own human effort. That you need God's intervention. That God should disarm. God should destroy whatever the person are using to manipulate you. Pray this prayer. Midnight or before you sleep. Read the psalm. Each of the psalm. Three, three times and pray. Do this straightly for seven days. And come back and tell me your story. Don't forget to come back to share your testimony. Don't forget to come back and tell me, promise, thank you for this good information. Promise, thank you for good prayer guideline that you give me. Because after doing it, go and mark it down. You will come back with a testimony. If you decide that you are doing something and it's going all of a sudden, it collapses. And you know that it's not you that you know, collapses because of one reason or the other. You don't know how it happens. You don't know anything. Please, 